morning everybody so today 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 we're gonna take out no 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 we're gonna take out the italian supercar i guess right there this is my daily i call it the italian supercar because it is italian and it's super ish it's a 2013 fiat 500 abort but that's not the worst that's the real cool bar. Yeah, that little cool Italian flag. Let's go for a ride. One of the best things about these cars is just driving them. That's honestly why I bought it. Because they're just, they're fun cars. People don't know about them that much. And they just think, ah, oh, it's just a little Fiat. Nothing special. But these are actually, they have, they have a little special place in the cars. And people should honestly look at them. Especially if you're looking for like a cheap daily. It's good on gas and still stupid fun. It's a fun car. And they're pretty nice inside. I mean, look at that. It's a little worn here and there. You know, like I said, it's my daily. But uh, it's got, uh, I think, 89,000 miles on it. So it's held up pretty well. Good car. It's got the, I think you can see it over there. There it is. It's got the Beat Audio. Before we go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my friend, my buddy. I'm gonna introduce him to the channel, and we're gonna go for a ride. He, he enjoys going for rides, so we're gonna take him with us. Bruno, come on, Bruno, Bruno, come on, Bruno, let's go, Bruno, 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 there he is, there, come here, Bruno, Bruno, come here, come here, Bruno, 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 sit. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come on, let's go for a ride, bro. Come on. Get in the car. Come on. Get in the car, bro. Come on. Get in the car. Come on. Bro. Whoa, shit. All right, we'll give him a moment. All right, let's get in the car. Bro, let's go. Come on. Come on, bro. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Come on. Get in the car. Go. 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 Yeah. Oh boy. I should say, you can never get to go nowhere. Oh boy, he's excited. Alright, so why did I buy this car? Honestly, I wasn't even sure. My oldest uh, daughter bought one, and I kind of liked it, but she bought a regular 500. And uh, I don't know. I thought it was. A, I thought it was. Even that was a little peppy. I'm like, heck, the Bart has to be a lot, a lot, a lot better. So I said, heck, I went and tried one. And honestly, the first one I drove was this one. I didn't, I didn't drive it in the Bart. And it's a fun car. These things are peppy. They make all the right turbo noises. And you know, it, it's just a, it's just a fun daily. Parts are cheap. I've, uh, I've had only a few issues with this car. The air conditioning uh, went out. So I went, I just, honestly, I just bought a compressor on eBay for like 50 bucks and threw it on there and I haven't had no more issues. And uh, the window, the driver's side window, there's a little clip in them that keeps breaking and I've broken two of them. So that's the only issue I've ever had with them. But other than that, I mean, mechanically the car's been stout. I have just regular maintenance, oil changes, air filter, you know, I have a, a cold, air, cold air intake. But not really, it just makes all the nice mushy noises. And I have a little plate for the blow off sound. But other, other than that, I mean, it's been, it's been a good car. But you know, it's got a, after, I think if you buy a 16 or 17 and up, it'll come with a digital cluster. Uh, I don't know if it was an option or not. I think it is. I think uh, it, it'll come with it now from the factory that way. Um, the boost gauge, obviously. I mean, it's a simple car. It's not something that, you know, it's not extravagant or anything like that. Yeah, I need, I need gas. And one of the, I think the TPMS has went out on it. But it always says unavailable for the last month or so. So I'm going to have to look for a new TPMS on one of the tires. I don't even know which one it is. But, I mean, overall, I mean, it's nothing fancy. It does the job. Bruno! Bruno! Bruno, why are you whining so much? 
this is a great car for anybody who's looking for like a city car or something good commuter i think it does it's not the best you can get cars that, that are they do better gas miles than this i think this does like 34 you know, like 38 highway i've never really measured it i don't really look at gas miles on any cars i care more for how does it make me feel how much i enjoy driving it and just just you know, the overall you know factor of the complete package you know it's people get caught up on just oh horsepower or numbers or this and that it's much more than that when i buy a car it's gonna uh, be about everything they're mopars mopar no car but uh yeah fiat fiat owns mopar so the same people that make uh you know that little big bad hellcats they make these too you know they're actually roomy i call this my fiat truck my friends know hey i'm bringing the fiat truck i can fit more crap in this car that i can fit in my mustang I, the camaro not even that camaro has a tiny damn trunk um but uh yeah sorry this bruno he's getting a little nervous i don't know why but uh so i could fit so much stuff in this car i can st i i have put four four wheels and tire oh i could line them up back there boom 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 i can do three and then put one here in the front seat and just a bunch of other crap this is this is my truck i don't have a truck anymore so this is my truck currently and it does the job and it does the job well so you'd be surprised how much space in these little cars and i'm comfortable i'm not a small guy and i'm comfortable in this car sorry these cars sound freaking great they're probably one of the best sounding four cylinders you can find Something in the tuning, I don't know what they've done to them, but they don't sound like a Honda, a Nissan, or anything. They just, they have a nice sound to them. I don't know if it's just the, the multi-air system that these cars use, because it's something to do with the valves and the timing or something like that. Um, they just sound really nice for the for what they are, for a four-cylinder. My car has a catless downpipe, and when I put it on, it was a little too much. I just, it was a little too loud. So I actually put a small resonator right in the middle of the car and that made it perfect. It sounds really good. Uh, it's a little louder than factory, but not like obnoxiously loud. And that's exactly what I was going for. if I can get them, I'm gonna get them a little closer up there. So, let me know what you guys think. Turbo on this car is literally right there. And right here to open the hood when the car is hot, it is hot as hell. So give me a second. All right, so here it is. Um, this is that piggyback I was telling you about. It's made by Madness, 500 Madness basically. They're basically a Fiat, a Barth you know part supplier basically so it's a piggyback it just kind of connects it to the injectors and all the and the boost and gives it a little more boost and stuff like that and that cold air intake it's not really a cold air intake because it looks like it sucks up a lot of air i need to clean that thing is what i need to do but uh there it is you know it's a 1.4 like i said stock there i think 140 uh like if you're not in sport mode and uh 160 once you put it in sport mode and and 170 torque but with when with that uh piggyback system i think the if i remember correctly horsepower goes up to like 190 and like 240 torque or something like that i'm not 100 percent true if it's real or not i've never dialed the car i'm never gonna dial this car don't need to but uh 
just what it is. You know, I definitely woke it up when I put the catalyst down pipe. That definitely woke it up too. So, you know, it's it it, it does the job. It's fun daily. I'm, I'm gonna keep emphasizing this because that's what it is. It's a fun daily. Bruno, Bruno. All right, guys. So there it is. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm not a Fiat expert. I'm not a car reviewer. This is just a quick view of my car. Why I bought it. Why I enjoy it. What makes me tick when it comes to buying a car it it's a great car it does what you want it to do it puts a smile on your face especially getting out of get weaving through traffic it's just a quick little car it's easy to park it's just uh it's good on gas it sounds good it's just uh, overall it's a nice little package that's all it is the interior is not bad though the, the italian leather because it it's italian leather holds up great so you know so overall i'm really really happy with it all right all right, guys, so subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. And the keyword for this uh, video is going to be, it's going to be right there. Where is it? Right there. A bar. So, all right, guys, so thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, comment, let us know what you think. We're trying to mix it up with the channel, bring out different builds, different cars, different everything. It's a complete car channel page now. So, you know, thank you guys for the guys that's been there from the beginning. We're going quick, but we want to grow even faster. So thank you guys for the support, and we'll see you on the next one.